Hey, hey, Spring LaFay, Simply Tarot. Okay, Scorpio, this is a reading for you. I want to get you a couple of these. Ooh, they tried to throw that one out. That was peace. So is there something you need to find peace about? Is there something you need to bring peace to? Then we've got imagine and we've got observer. Peace fit, ended up on the bottom. So yeah, there's something that you need to bring peace to. And it may have to do with your own self. Um, observer, you need to look deep within. You, there's something you need to go within and really look deep at. Uh, you need to imagine things in a different light. You need to see things in a different light. Uh, I'm seeing think out, you know, th thinker, think outside the box. So there's something you're not seeing it the way you need to bring, be seeing it. And maybe it's as simple as bringing peace to yourself and peace to the situation will change everything. Okay. Scorpio. Message for Scorpio, please. Okay. Oh, avoiding a decision that needs to be made. This is a decision that, you know, you need to make. Whatever it is, if you're avoiding it, it's not going to help. If it has to do with the past, you need to look at it. You need to deal with it. Okay. What is this, what is this decision about? Broken heart. It needs to be dealt with. It needs to not be overlooked. You need to see yourself in a whole different light, for one. Okay. Um, advice going forward for... Okay. Guard yourself, but don't guard yourself to the point where, you know, you won't let love in. Because I feel like that there's someone that's trying to penetrate them walls, and, you know, it's like you're... I feel like you're just guarding against the past, even though it's not the past. Does that make sense? Um, it's time to bring closure to a negative situation from your past and really look at it and decide that, you know, it's time to uh, see it for what it is. Decide to, you know, change the way you look at things and the way you look at yourself, the way you value yourself and bring um, a sense of change to your life that's going to make a world of difference. Going forward, yeah, knowing your worth and value is going to make a world of difference. This is like the Empress in the Minor Arcana. This is knowing one's worth and value, having themselves together, and that makes all the difference. Okay, can you show us any more going forward? You know, there's a feeling like um, for someone, there's someone um, ahead. And it's like, you know, this person's seeing them, but they're not because they're still stuck back there, you know, in the strife of their mind of the past. So this is getting through that, getting past that in order to know your own worth and value, in order to be able to go towards a new relationship. A new relationship, you have to make that decision. You have to make that choice in order to be able, be able to go towards it. You see what I'm saying? In order to, you have to walk away from the past. You have to let go of the past in order to be going towards something better. Wow, that's amazing there. Um, so, for some of you, this is a love issue, romance issue where you were hurt. For others of you, I feel like family could have hurt you or a friend and, you know, you're getting past it. But if it's romantically related, we're going to take one of these. Chemistry. Uh, you've got a strong attraction, magnetic attraction with someone, it feels like. And you know it. That's why I was feeling this over here, like going towards, like there's someone in the future. There's someone there. Um, but the thing is, is you're letting the past hold you back. That's what's happening. Even if the past is not right there with you, it's like you're letting it hold you back. It's it's like the past has still got a hold. Still got a hold on you. That's no good. Healer of Thought and Three of, of Abundance. I gotta write this down. You know, it's kind of like letting the past keep a foot in your door. 
I mean, you until you push that foot out that door and shut it on it, you know, it's going to keep staying there. And all that does is keep you from what's meant for you. Okay, Healer of Thought. It's time to clean up your life. Get rid of anything that clutters your space or makes you disorganized. People who take from you but don't give back should be released as well. You or another person involved in this situation is wise, insightful, and caring, has a wonderful sense of humor, and offers a lot of life experience. So you see what I'm saying? They're telling you basically the same thing. Um, then we got three of abundance. Your passions will lead to your divine life purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talent. Learn everything there is to know about your interests by taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity to soar. So whatever it is that you are trying to go forward with that is involving creativity, you need to let it soar. And you know, that may be called for um, getting with like-minded people to encourage one another or to help one another going forward. Um, that's what I've got for you. Thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Much light and love. Till next time. Bye.